we've talked before this, and, and, and what you told me is that you would come here ready to talk more in more detail about uh, your uh, and your team's uh, new strategy for MySpace. Um, I think it's fair to say that MySpace, you know, in the last year hasn't had a great year in terms of the, where it started and where it ended by some measures, popular measures of, of, of the web, page views, uniques, and so on. Um, and people have been sort of waiting for you to sort of do your 100 days or so and look at what's going on and, and, and declare a new strategy. Um, and I think the last time that you were on stage, you, it was at D at Kara's uh, conference, and you, you had been there for all of two or three weeks. So now that you've had a bit of time, what are you going to do with MySpace? What are we doing? Yeah, what are you up to? Well, um, you know, what, what, what we're doing with MySpace is what I originally talked with Rupert about months ago when I first started, started chatting with him about the job, which is we think that MySpace has the opportunity to be the next generation digital distribution platform for content. And, you know, if you, if you just look at what's happening on the web today, clearly distribution of content is happening much more through people than it is through portals. And that shift uh, positions MySpace very uniquely to be the place that this socialization of content occurs. Because we have a social graph, a connection between people, a digital representation of connection between people that is open, meaning people expect to connect to people that they don't necessarily know in real life, um, it lends itself to discovery and to distribution of content in a way that, that other platforms just don't. So I ha we had Cheryl here earlier, and I asked Cheryl that question about whether or not she's going to have a content-focused strategy. She said no. Um, but can you, can you give us a bit more detail what you mean by an open social graph versus, I guess the opposite would be closed, uh, but a, a non-open <laughs> social graph? Because so, I'm not sure that everyone here, actually, why don't we do this? How many people have a MySpace page? I, and this is the way, <laughs> you, you better, huh? Um, so it's about 15 or 20 percent, so I, how many people have a Facebook page? Oh, wow, hello, everybody. Um, so that's what you're up against, in a way. Um, <laughs> uh, Thanks for framing that up, appreciate that. <laughs> but on the other hand, I, I want you to kind of help the folks, the, the 80 percent who don't have MySpace pages, understand how the social graph is different at MySpace than it is at Facebook. Sure, well, you know, look, MySpace is, is fundamentally very different than I think every site out there in that what people are doing there in terms of discovering content through each other um, by being able to go and explore your other people's pages or learn about their interests um, through the activity stream um, without having to have connections in, in, in real life or without having to have friend connections necessarily is, is fundamentally different. Um, it's, it's the ability for me to go and check out your MySpace page or you check out my, my MySpace page and see that I've created a playlist of great songs and you're interested in a couple of those songs, some of them you've never heard of before, and as you listen to that, you discover that we have a similar interest in music and it introduces you to new music that you haven't seen before. There might be video content there that you find interesting and, and that might compel you to go look at that video content because, again, we have similar interest in music. And it's much the way that the real world works today. Um, you know, I know you're a big music fan, and, and we all get influenced, you know, music's a great example, we all get influenced, uh, our music tastes get influenced through other people in a, in a big way, and it extends to all types of content, right? We talk about movies, and I throw a line out from Fletch, and you know that line, it turns out we both like that movie, and then it turns out we both like those types of comedies, and then we're referring back to them, and they become touchstones in, in the relationships that people have with each other. So, the fact that people, want to experience content with other people, whether they know them or not, is what we think of as the socialization of content. And we think that, that experiences and, and platforms like MySpace are finally lending themselves to uh, that experience on the web in a meaningful way. Um, and you have really, obviously, MySpace has its heritage in music. Um, and a very big uh, deal that, that MySpace has put together called MySpace Music with I don't know that there's any music company that's not involved in that deal in some way or another. Um, how is music playing into this, uh, into this strategy and, and in a unique way? Are there things that you can do because of MySpace music that, that perhaps boxes competition out? Well, music's, music's a great example of, of um, what it is that we're trying to do around, around socialization of content because it's an important touchstone for people. It, 
uh, cuts across every demographic and psychographic. Everybody loves music. Um, it's something that we share a lot of. Having the, the joint venture that we have and, and the strategic partnerships that we have with all the major record labels, including the independent record labels, is extremely unique and gives us the ability to do things that others can't. The licenses that we have for that content, for example, are licenses that nobody else gets to enjoy, and as a result, they don't necessarily have the same ability to offer the, the, the um, user value proposition that, that we do in our product. So MySpace is, is the only place you can go today to stream full um, length songs, put together playlists, share them with your friends, get access to literally the entire music catalog available through the, the major record labels as well as to the independents. You can also go and see um, band pages. Literally every band that exists out there today has a presence on MySpace. Um, and you can also see a lot of user generated content, photos from the concert. I know you, know you and I were both shooting photos at Outside Lands this year putting those things up and being able to share them, people posting set lists about great shows that they saw, um, and combining all of that content into one area is what, what is, truly makes us unique. Nobody else has that, that holistic experience. And in fact, one of the things that we're announcing today um, is an artist dashboard that we're, we're finally launching. And I have a screenshot of it here. Yeah, I, I want to. So this is a bit of news that Owen's breaking here, because there just hasn't been enough. Um, awesome. So let's so, so tell us tell us about this. Um, so I obviously clicked forward too far. If go back. If you can go back one side, perfect. So here's a, an example of an artist dashboard, and it's not actual data because this is data that we make exclusively available to the artists themselves. Um, but this is a representation of what the Black Eyed Peas would see in their artist dashboard, and you can see that it basically shows them exactly how many people where um, and and who exactly is interfacing with their content um, on both. MySpace, uh, as well as you can see, we have iLike down there. We, we've, this is our first example of an integration with iLike, which we closed that acquisition about a week and a half ago. And now you can see that iLike, who has the biggest music application across literally all of the social networks, um, Facebook, Bebo, uh, High Five, Orkut, um, and MySpace. <clears throat> you can see now exactly how many people you're uh, reaching with that application, exactly how many people are fanning you, and if you Scroll, this is the bottom half of the page here. You can see that we're giving people things like geographic breakdowns, um, where, where exactly your fans are, not just in the US, but in the world. Uh, and this is something that, as we worked with major artists and we worked with management companies to um, uh, put, this put this product together, first of all, we saw a huge demand for it. And it's something that is unique because nobody else is offering artists this type of insight into exactly who is seeing their information and how it's being consumed. It's also great information that they can use beyond the web. So a lot of what we heard back from, um, from management companies, for example, is, boy, the heat map's great because I can really factor that data into how it is I'm thinking about our tour dates and where it is that we want to be taking the band for, for the tour this summer. So this is one of the announcements that we're making. This is literally getting pushed live I, as I am here talking to you um, and something that we're making available to all of artists. And you know, if you think about this as um, a, a model for how it is that we can empower uh, the content producers on our site, whether it's artists or... I mean, isn't that really the original? I mean, one of the things that made MySpace just take off was the fact that it became one of the first platforms on the internet that anybody with a band could actually figure out how to have a presence there. So what you're doing here, if I understand you correctly, is giving them far more sophisticated tools for managing that presence. We should hire you to do our... our are speaking for us, yeah. <laughs> Please, that's exactly that's exactly what we're doing. I'm just trying to understand. It, it. it is, it is. And if you think about this across other entertainment categories and how it is we could extend this model, that's where we're taking the company. In are terms you ever going to charge for that? It's something that we think is the right tool to offer to provide a better experience for our users. We'll, we'll find other ways to monetize our business. We're good at that. This is a tool that we want to offer the people who actually create a lot of the content that makes MySpace so unique. Mm -hmm. um, I want to back up just a minute, unless there's other stuff that you have to show there. I don't want to cut you off. Well, I do have one other product announcement, actually. Go um, nuts. Absolutely. One of the, uh, <laughs> so the, the other, the other um, announcement that we're making today is that we are um, launching the full catalog of music videos available from all the major record labels and the independents um, in one place for the first time on the web. 
And this is something that, again, it comes out of this the... This is like Hulu uh, for music videos on MySpace. It's, it's the full collection. You can find all the videos that are licensable through those labels and through our label partners. Um, it's, it's a byproduct of the, again, very exclusive, very unique relationship that we have with the record labels um, through our JV partnership. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the cool thing about it is, um, first of all, you can see one of the things that we've been working hard on at, at MySpace is really working hard to improve the user experience. Um, we know that, it, that we can make the site a lot easier to use. Um, it, one of the things we've been doing is a lot of cleanup on the site, exposing the social tools, focusing in on the areas that um, we, we know we have a lot of traction with users and where we really are unique and that fit well within this notion of next generation distribution um, uh, platform, you know, socialization of content, the things that we view as our mission. And you can see here it's a cleaner design than, than you know, a lot of areas of the site. It's really representative of what yeah. it is that we're going to be delivering product-wise. Um, and it's got a lot of other great features that you can't really see with the screenshot, but hopefully, you know, again, this is going to launch as I step off the stage here today. You can go and check it out on MySpace. Um, you'll see we're doing a lot of surfacing videos um, that people you're connected to on MySpace have seen. Uh -huh. So again, this notion of content distribution through people, I think people, Google just announced portals. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but ours it, is so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is pretty. Um, uh, since I said Google, can I ask you about Google? They, you can ask they me just, about anything. Well, they just made an announcement about uh, surfacing songs and being able to play them on in the search results. I think was that right? Because I've been busy today. But did, did I get that right? Yeah. I didn't see an official announcement on that. I'm pretty sure I saw, and it strikes me the only way they might do that is a deal with you. Well, look, what, what I will say, I don't have an, a, an announcement about a deal today. I brought a lot of product, but didn't, didn't bring any deal news. Um, oh, damn. You know, we, we, we are a very partner-centric company. It's a big part of our strategy. We're going to have a lot of cool partner announcements coming. We've got a lot of things in the pipeline. Google's been a partner of ours, as you know, for, for yeah. a long time, and yeah. they're, they're a great partner. So, um, you know, you'll have to stay tuned for partner news from us. Okay, stay, stay tuned. I was just browsing headlines, and it struck me that maybe there might be a connection. There. Rumors, speculation. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Google a little more, because I know that you want to. Um, <laughs> Google did a very large deal with MySpace prior to your joining um, that is up for, uh, well, it expires, I think, and is it next year? Sometime next year. Sometime next year. Uh, it was very large uh, in terms of the amount of money involved. Um, it, it certainly is great to have that kind of money guaranteed to a site like MySpace. Um, but there, you know, one could argue that it didn't work out for Google, and I'm not speculating. They actually said it hasn't been working out for us because um, they don't know quite how to, how, they haven't figured out how to make it pay as well as they might. At least that's what they've said in the past. Um, what happens when that, does that deal go away or, or, or evolve into something else? Or, you know, what happens when, when Google goes away, is your business in, imperiled by that? You know, we're really pleased with where our business is and, and where it's going. Um, one of the things that, that MySpace has been really good at doing is, uh, is monetizing its business. Um, and if you look at the advertising partnerships that we have with, you know, McDonald's and the movie studios, um, you know, we do the type of integrated marketing that nobody on the web does. And, it is an area that we think is a huge opportunity to continue to innovate in a big way. We think we've just started to scratch the surface around what brands can do on the web, um, including figuring out how to measure success, in, especially inside of these types of social environments. Um, and you know, we're, we're really pleased with, with where our business is. It doesn't hinge on any individual partnership. Um, you know, I'm, I'm confident that, that we're building the right business, and I know News Corp believes that too. Now, News Corp is building a business of its own, which John, John Miller, um, John's your boss, right? He is. John Miller will be here uh, tomorrow to, to talk about all things News Corp. Uh, uh, and I know that he's been working on a business uh, fan that um, MySpace is a big part of. Can you tell us anything about that or a little bit about that? Sure. Well, Fan um, serves a lot of our advertising and does a lot of our sophisticated targeting on the site. Uh, and it was a company that was started to um, initially serve, serve MySpace, but is now serving a lot of different sites. John, John will tell you a lot about it. I would imagine exactly what the plans are for that. Um, 
and where that business is going, but fan's a big part of our monetization today. And it, and it might be a strategy to not necessarily replace Google, but supplement that which may be going away? I mean, again, we're really good at monetization. Um, there's a lot of different avenues that you can take to monetize a site like, like MySpace, especially as we go more and more into areas around content where there's a lot of engagement around things like video um, and other rich content. It just opens up huge new opportunities for advertisers. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of opportunity to, to figure out how to make money off of this. Um, there, it's just a little time. If anyone has questions for Owen, please come up to the microphone over here. Um, and while we're uh, waiting to see if someone comes up, I do have uh, a sort of a put a bow on it kind of question. You know, you're new. Wrap it the, up. <laughs> wrap it up. You're, you're, you're new to this. Um, uh, for those who don't know, Owen was uh, you know, original member at Facebook, uh, or early, I should say, executive at Facebook. So you've seen that world. What does success look like for you and for MySpace from where we are, where you are right now to a year from now or two years from now or five years from now? What, what's different? What's moved the needle for you? How will you judge whether or not you've been effective in your role? Well, we see, we believe that we have all of the building blocks and we need to focus on, on execution. Um, and if we, do a great job at executing, if we build great user experience that really delights, delights our users and continue to, to innovate, which is an important part of any technology company, um, then we will realize this vision of being the place that content gets socialized. It's gonna be the place where you discover a huge amount of content through other people, their actions, whether it's passive or active. Um, and you know, if that, is happening in music, if that's happening in other areas that we're strong today, games, um, entertainment is, is very large for us, TV and, and movie, uh, you know, film. Um, it'll be easy to recognize success because we will be viewed and you will just know that we are the place where a huge amount of that socialization of content is happening. Right, right. Um, I'm not seeing questions at this time, which is good because we're <laughs> basically out of time. Um, I want to thank you for coming and, yeah, and for sharing me. news, surprising me with yeah. news, Owen. So thank you very, very cool. much for your time. Great to see you, gentlemen.